Hello everyone, I am Nuraini and I'm the EdTech coach and online learning evangelist at Common Town Private Limited. Previously, I was working for the Ministry of Education in Singapore as a Malay language teacher in a secondary school. However, for the past nine years, I have been conducting EdTech professional learning courses for educators to guide them on how to best integrate technology into their lessons. This topic came about because the way we teach and learn have become permanently altered due to safety measures that had been implemented such as lockdowns and social distancing for the past two years. The impact is the high level of stress upon educators and learners as well as their parents and especially for those who are taking major examinations. Private tuition centres that takes the role of supporting the learners are also at a loss of how to move forward. Because of this, schools and tuition centres began to implement video conferencing to fill the gap of teaching during home-based learning. For a time, it was enough after a while, there were gaps that cannot be filled, uh, such as incomplete curriculum coverage and lack of social interaction and support. In response to the measures, more schools have taken up technology tools that support distance learning. As providers of virtual and language learning systems, we therefore seek five primary schools as partners for our classroom research to implement the usage of our learning management systems called Common Academy that has been upgraded with a unique speech technology integration. The languages that we are looking to work on would be Arabic, Bahasa Malaysia, Chinese, Tamil and English language. The target group that we are looking at will be 10 to 15 students that has access to technology devices such as laptops or tablets and Wi-Fi. The students would ideally be led by a language teacher and technology facilitator or assistant. This is important because everything will be conducted virtually. Moving on, please allow me to explain further. Basically, a learning management system, or abbreviated as LMS, is a digital online learning platform that facilitates the delivery of teaching materials, learning activities, resources and tools to learners within the classroom environment or while they are learning at home. It provides educators with the platform for personalised instruction that can be accessed anytime, anywhere. Ideally, using an LMS provides the educator with the flexibility to meet the needs of every learner, support for online interaction, as well as collaborative learning. Educators are able to gain access to students' course content, assignments and scores after they have completed their tasks. The LMS supports a variety of learning modes such as interactive images, videos and speech technologies. With all of the above, schools will be able to track their learners' progress and performance by the minute. The key features in the LMS include the ability to upload video lessons, 
create quizzes and assessment questions, and build in collaborative tools such as an interactive wall or digital canvas where students are able to respond to their teacher's instructions using different mediums. Educators will also be pleased to note that they can easily check their learners' responses through a simple report system whereby their answers are recorded and for most of the activities, auto-marking by the system. The LMS have been equipped with various question types to specifically help learners to improve their language skills. Educators can explore its usage as an assessment tool or create full and complete topical lessons within the system. Students will be able to type their answers, upload photos and videos, do interactive learning activities, and even record their responses using audio and video formats. In the next few minutes, I will be showing a few examples of how the question types may help with language learning. As a teacher, you can create attractive, visual and engaging learning activities such as this video question type whereby the learners can watch a video and at certain points of the video, a quiz or activity will pop up on the screen. Your student can then answer a quiz or drag and drop activity such as the image on the right, in which they need to drag the right flower to match it to the correct names. The learning activities may therefore come in the form of images, audio files and web links. Using our Reading Fluency learning activity will allow educators to provide oral assessments by capturing their learners' reading accuracy and fluency. The oral reading practice or assessment can take place while the learners are in school or when they are at home. The lesson workflow will be something like this. First, the teacher will input a paragraph that they want their students to read. The students can then listen to the reading of the text and practice how to read the paragraph on their own. Once ready, the student can then record their reading of the text. The student will then be able to attain their reading scores immediately after since it will be auto-marked by the system. They can repeat this process up to three times to improve their reading marks and submit their best scores. You'll be listening to a recording of my reading that have gained a score of 95% accuracy and 87% fluency. The Great Pyramid of Giza is a huge pyramid built by the ancient Egyptians. It stands 18.4 kilometers from Cairo, Egypt. It is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and the only one to remain mostly intact. When it was built, it was 146.5 meters tall. It was the tallest building in the world for over 3,800 years. Erosion and other causes have shrunk it to 138.8 meters. The pyramid was probably built for Khufu, an Egyptian pharaoh. It is believed that it took about 20 years to build and was completed around 10,000 BC. I have done a trial for Arabic language based on the verses from the Quran. As you can see, the accuracy and fluency scores have been captured based on my reading and intonation. This is a recording of my reading for Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening verse of the Quran taken and extracted from the LMS. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Ar-Rahmani Rahim Malik Yawmiddin Iyakana Budwa Iyakana Stain 
ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta alaihim ghairil maghdubi alaihim waladdallin amin The elements have also been programmed to work in Bahasa Malaysia. We have a different version for Bahasa Melayu Baku, which is still in use for the national uh, Malay language exams in Singapore. This is a recording of my reading that have gained a score of 91.16% accuracy and 84.23% fluency. Uh, please also take note that all this is auto mark by the system. Pada masa silam sekitar abad ke-14, Pulau Singapura merupakan sebahagian daripada Kerajaan Sriwijaya dan dikenali sebagai Temasek. Dipercayai bahawa Singapura merupakan pusat pemerintahan Kerajaan Melayu sebelum ia diduduki oleh Sir Stamford Raffles. Ini berdasarkan tulisan Abdullah Abdul Qadir Munshi yang menyatakan Ketika Singapura dibersihkan, bukit yang terdapat di situ telah pun dikenali sebagai bukit larangan dan terdapat banyak pokok-pokok buah yang ditanam di situ. Ini menunjukkan terdapatnya pusat pentadbiran di situ. Needless to mention, your students will enjoy using this drag and drop image activity that will allow them to match the right image to the right term. To answer, they just need to tap on an image and drag it to the correct boxes. You can also arrange for the images to appear below the boxes instead of above. As mentioned, there are also collaborative tools that has been built in for your classroom usage, such as interactive mind maps, multimedia forums, and a collaborative wall that allow your, your learners to communicate and interact with one another. For each of these dynamic features, your learners may upload various types of medium, such as images, videos, web links, and more. Students can interact as a pair, in small groups, or as a class. Imagine that you are starting a new topic for your class. Let's say the topic is on Racial Harmony Day or International Friendship Day. Before the lesson proper, you may wish to carry out a warm-up activity such as concept mapping. The mind map feature will allow you and your students to add information concurrently. You can add text, image, video, audio, and URL links. For the next part of your lesson, you can guide your students towards the collaborative wall where you and your students can post YouTube links, audio files, GIF files, and add a comment on one another. At the end of the lesson, you may wish to gain some feedback or get your students to share what they have learned. This can be carried out in the multimedia forum. This is wonderful for group discussions and inquiries into matters that may require more explanation or practice. With this, I would like to say thank you for watching this presentation. There are many other things within the learning management system that I'm not able to share during this, this short presentation. If you are keen to participate in this project, feel free to email me. Have a wonderful day ahead.